Victoria 3's weirdest mechanic. Standard of living in Victoria 3 is a pretty good sign of how well your nation's doing. The higher the better, of course. But when you get a standard of living high enough, it can kind of become a problem. How, you may ask? Radicals. Radicals cause you all sorts of issues, like making it harder for laws to pass or eventually revolting against your rule. The issue with this is that radicals aren't calculated based on the standard of living that you have compared to those around you, or even your base standard of living, but your expected standard of living. And standard of living tends to change. Say, for example, you have a standard of living of 63, compared to the rest of the territory around you, which is akin to a nuclear wasteland. You can still generate masses of radicals because your standard of living drops from 63 to 60, hence making an environment where growing your standard of living too dramatically actually hinders the player instead of helping them. Hopefully this gets tweaked in future patches, because whilst the premise does make sense, in the current state of the game, it's a little bit wonky. And that's why I deem it to be 